Okay, so what we have here now is we have a smelter making iron ingots. As you can see, we've been collecting those and we've got the raw material going in, which is great. Uh, so let's add one to make copper. So we go into our build menu and we select the smelter and you can see the arrows on the machines pointing the direction, the in and out. And as you sort of put the machines near each other, they just sort of float where they want to go. If you hold control, they will actually snap next to each other, which can make nice placement. Okay, so I'm going to go up to this machine and a copper ingot is what we want. And like before, I've got the copper, I'll put it in there. And it needs power, so like we did before, we're going to um, bring up the build menu, select the power line, and we'll go over here and connect to the, well hold on, it says you can't connect more lines to this connection. Okay, so what that means is, the biomass burner only allows one cable to connect to it, so we need a power pole. Okay, so let's build a power pole. I'm going to put a power pole here. Oh no, I need concrete. All right. So we'll come back to this. As we were here before, we needed to make a power pole and I needed concrete, which I just made, collected and made. So I select power pole. I'm going to put one power pole here. And let's go to the... Um, we need to hook the power pole to these machines. I can put one there. Now, one thing I'm going to do, and it's going to help you learn this early on, is I'm going to use one power pole per machine. Okay, and the connectors for the machines are here. And to make it look pretty, we put the power pole near the connector. So I'm going to leave that power pole there. And I'm going to start off, I'm going to put a power pole, let's say a power pole here. And I'm also going to put a power pole maybe here. And we're going to put one more here. Now I'm going to grab my power line and I'm going to run the power to the machine. And then that was one connection. Now I'm going to run power from there from that pole to that pole and you can see it now has two or four this one I'm going to connect oh I can't connect it to there because it's already connected so all you have to do is press F to open the deconstruct tool and hover over the power line uh, when you can get it sometimes it's a bit difficult to get there it is you can see it's highlighted there and hold your mouse down and it gets rid of the power line. You can see that just powered off. I'm going to connect the power line to there. And then I'm going to go from that pole to that pole. And then I'm going to go over to this pole. And then this pole to the biomass burner. So now we have both machines are running. And the reason why I did this daisy chain of power poles is because... We had one connection, two connections, um, and, and so that would have been two connections on the pole. Then to connect to there would have been a third connection. We would have only had one connection left. So it makes it really easy if you plan the power poles out like this. And as you can see, now we have copper ingots being made. We are still manually feeding the machines, um, that's fine. And you can see this machine has stopped working because it's reached its maximum of 100. So we fill it up again, we take it out and it keeps running. 